In this absolutely crazy geometry problem, we've got this huge circle, and its center is a point O, and these three identical cream-colored circles are packed inside the big circle, and we've got this chord AC between the circles, and it's the tangent to the top circle at its midpoint B. We know this blue circle's radius is 8. We don't know any other distances, and we are asked to find the area of this cute green circle at the bottom. So if you'd like to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. Let's put a radius for the cream-colored circle here and we'll call it x. Let's put another radius x here and here. Next, we'll put this tiny green line here connecting the radius x to the big circle's center, and we'll call it a. It's clear that these line segments here add up to the radius of this big circle, and we'll call it capital R. Let's write that up here so that we don't forget what capital R is. And we can conclude that capital R is 2x plus a, and we'll also write that up here. Now let's draw these two radii for the top cream-colored circle here. We know this is a right angle because it's the point of tangency, and we also know that this entire distance is capital R, which equals 2x plus a, so this little green distance down here must be a. Now I'll take this part and zoom in so that you can see what's going on better. We've got right angles here, so we can figure out that this x and this a are parallel. That means we can take this x and copy it onto here, and this part here has to be x minus a. Now this entire line is a tangent to this circle, so we can draw another radius x here, and this angle here will be a right angle. Now we've got a very nice right triangle, and now we can apply the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the sum of the squares of the shorter side of a right triangle equals the square of its longer side. These are the shorter sides of our right triangle, so let's take their squares, and this is the longer side, and it's got a total length of x plus a. So we'll take the square of that as well. Let's open up these brackets first, and we get this. And we can take these two and add them up to get 2x squared. And we can open up these brackets like this. Next, we subtract this expression from both sides of the equation. And on the right-hand side, we get a big nice zero. And on the left-hand side, we get this, which is nice too. Because we can take this minus 4ax to the other side, where it becomes plus. And after dividing both sides by x, we find x equals 4a. Let's keep the super important finding up here and let's go back to our original diagram. This time we'll zoom in to this top part, like this. Let's draw a radius here for the blue circle. And this angle is 90 degrees, because it's at the point of tangency. Now it's clear that this radius and this diameter are parallel. So we can take this 8 and project it to here. And this leftover segment will be x minus 8. And we'll also need this segment, so let's call it C. And we'll project it to here. And this angle is also 90 degrees. Next, we'll draw this line joining the centers of the two circles. And it consists of their radii, which add up to x plus 8. We've just created a very cool right triangle. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem. We'll take these sides and take their squares like this. And we open the brackets to get this. The identical stuff on both sides cancel out. Let's take this minus 16 to the right, where it becomes plus, and we get c squared equals 32x. Let's keep this finding here. Let's clean this diagram, and let's draw a radius for the big circle here. And let's label it with a capital R. And this distance over here is 8, because it's the radius of the blue circle. That means this distance is capital R minus 8. Next, we take this distance c, and project it down here. And we take this distance a, and project it to here. This entire distance becomes a plus 8, and these two lines are parallel. So these two angles must be the same. And this one's also 90 degrees. We've got a right triangle here. That means we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's take the three sides of our right triangle and combine them into this equation. Now I want to express this capital R in terms of a. We know capital R equals 2x plus a. And we can also get rid of this 2x, because we know x is 4a, so 2x is basically 8a, and capital R turns out to be 9a, so let's change this to 9a. Next, we open up these brackets and we get this. Let's cancel out these 6 to 4s, and then subtract this from both sides, and we get this equation. Let's put this finding up here, and bring down this one to here. It turns out both of these expressions equal c squared. That means we can combine them into a single equation like this. And we know x is 4a, so this 32x equals 128a. We do the math, 
and A turns out to be 18 over 5. This is a super important finding and we'll keep it here. Let's bring back the original image and this time we zoom into this lower part of the diagram. Now we want to find this green circles area. Let's draw a radius here and we'll call it lowercase r. And let's draw another radius r here. Now let's draw a radius for the big circle here and label it like this. And we know the radius of the big circle is 9a. So let's change this capital R to 9a. Now we've got another a here and this whole distance adds up to 10a. These two lines are parallel. So we can take this distance x and bring it over to here. And we know x is 4a. So we can replace this x with 4a. And this remaining distance turns out to be 6a. And this distance down here is r. So this segment in the middle has to be 6a minus r. And we already know this radius equals 4a. And we've got a right angle here because it's the point of tangency. And let's put another radius here. And it's 4a too. And this whole distance is 4a plus r. We've got yet another right triangle. And yes, you guessed right, Pythagorean theorem. Let's take the sides of the triangle and put them into this equation. We open up all the brackets to get this. Identical stuff on both sides cancel out. And we take this minus 12ar to this side where it becomes plus. We add these two and we get 20ar. And after dividing both sides by 4a, we find that 9a equals 5r. And a is actually 18 over 5. So let's replace this a with that. And it turns out r is 162 over 25. Weird fraction, but we'll handle it. Let's go back to the main diagram. We need to find the area of this circle. And we know its radius. Now my son will help us calculate the circle's These area. These numbers are too bad. Go ahead, son. Hello, people. The area of a circle equals pi times r squared. And the radius of this circle is 162 over 25. So this r becomes 162 over 25. But that, give me a calculator. I can help with that. The numerator becomes 26,244. And I know you can do the denominator. It's your favorite multiplication. No problem. I know that 25 times 25 is 61025. Found it. Thank you very much, Sam. And 625 times 625 is... 390,625. He loves the powers of 5 for some reason. Let's change the order to make this look better. So there we are people. The area of the green circle is 26,244 over 625 times pi. Not a very neat fraction, but that's the answer to this problem. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please push the like button and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos. Have a nice day and see you soon.